here go back to my channel guys guys today's video is going to be a very interesting one as you guys can see from the title so today i'm going to be talking about some of the brand deals product deals that i actually said no to i said i love money i love you guys but this can't be done this cannot happen so i don't know if you guys realize but i actually reject a lot of sponsorships a lot of offers that come in because i obviously want to try test out and recommend products that actually i love that i believe in that i think are worthy mentioning and so i thought it'll be very interesting to mention a couple that just didn't work out i'm sorry i love you guys i love you brand managers you know no hot feelings there no hot feelings there of course i'm not making this video to disparage these products or brands relentlessly i just want to let you guys know that these were products that just didn't work out for me so without further ado let's get this video started Woo! i'm excited girl actually i shouldn't be it's actually a very serious topic we're talking about so i should compose myself but i'm just saying topic aside i'm just feeling really good today sending you some positive ass whoosh 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 i love that tiktok i love that tiktok oh p.s guys i have a tiktok please follow me on tiktok I'm trying to keep up with Gen Z. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. It's hard, but I'm doing my best. So please go show me some love. It's at what? What, what was my I? What was my handle? Sue Beauty eight one four. There you go. Go follow me on TikTok, please, guys. Thank you. Anyways, going on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. All right. The first product was actually a product that I turned down, not because the product didn't work out for me, but it. It was the worst timing. So the first part is the Needly Sika Sheet Cheat Relief Cream. I think it was early on this year, uh, still winter, like I, January, I want to say. And they were like, we want to do, you know, a sponsorship too together. We love you, Sue, and I love you too, back Needly. And so I was excited, but this is a very lightweight gel type cream. I mean, it's not the most transparent cream you can get, but it's fairly light. I don't know if you guys can see that. And one thing you guys should know about Korea is that we get four seasons and it gets really cold during the winter times. I have pretty dry, sensitive skin, especially when it gets colder, especially in my cheek areas. Oh my gosh, they get so fragile, fragile. It's not, it's like yuri gudu, you know? And so during the winter times, I need myself some thick ass creams. I mean, we're talking about buttery thick, like slap your face thick, like very juicy thick. So what happened was, well, while I was testing this product out, which by the way, I always make sure to take a good amount of time to test out products because uh, obviously I need to see if this product works beautifully on my face. Um, what happened was that because this was so light, it was lacking in the moisture department and moisturizing department for winter. And so I would feel it kind of drying out really fast. And so because of that, my skin, especially my cheek areas, would turn red and I would get these like rashes, little bumps. They're not serious because uh, they do die down. But I just felt like, oh, this is a tiny bit too lightweight for me, too, too refreshing for me to use during that time. And so... I said, no, lo siento, I love you guys, I love you Needly, oh my gosh, they have really, really great products, but I just couldn't do it for that time, for that, like, uh, January, February, it was, it was way too cold, it was way too cold, my titties were freezing up, but I feel like if they had pushed back the period a bit, and they did it now, and they offered to do it now, I think I definitely, I think I would have definitely seen different results, because it's, it's hot, it's that like, it's hot like pancakes right now. So uh, I I just kind of feel like oh this was so antaka you know like what a shame. I feel like they could have done so much better with the whole campaign with this cream if they had just you know delayed it a bit. All right, guys, the next product that I said no to is this Foreo cleanser. Do you guys remember this? This used to be everywhere. Every YouTuber was using it. Everyone was doing sponsorships. Everyone was doing ads. Everyone, yeah, it was everywhere. And they actually offered to do a, a an affiliate program with me where I would basically, I'm sorry, I was just like coming closer to the frame, the camera, because I was getting excited, where I would just get a commission if you guys have bought 
this through my link and I said no but beforehand before I explain why let me explain to you what this device is just in case you're not familiar uh, just to be brief this is a cleansing device so it vibrates if you click the middle can you guys hear that so it vibrates and what you do you put your cleanser on top mix it with a bit of water you know dampen your face water and just cleanse it in and work cleanse your skin and work this in. And basically I said no because I knew that this cleanser would be utterly disastrous for my very sensitive cheek areas And they're especially sensitive to like physical contact like harsh contact or touch Oh PS guys, I actually have been telling you guys for the longest time that I thought I had contact dermatitis But I went to see like a facialist recently and she told me that she doesn't think it's contact dermatitis She just thinks that like the immune system on my skin is very very week and that's why I'm like reacting sometimes I react out sometimes and so I might have to get that checked but all aside my cheek areas are bottom line really sensitive to any kind of touch or any material and that's why I'm very 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 picky about my sheet mask if I use a wrong material I will react and rashes and bumps and they will get itchy so it's not very healthy obviously so same thing goes for this I know it's not painful per se at all it's not lord but there's Oh my lord, the surface area is pretty big and so just just like working the sun would be not good for her, not good for my cheek areas. Now I know some people who love using this. This is actually my mother's. And so you can see like the coloring's gone off of it. She likes to use this two to three times a week. Uh, she has very healthy skin, by the way. No, no contact dermatitis, no whatsoever. And she says she really does enjoy using this. So I'm not saying once again, this is a bad product. There are tons of people out there who I know are huge fans of this. It's just that I can't afford to use this. Not even like two to three times a week because my priority is to minimize any sort of like physical harsh contact or touch and I don't know if you guys really noticed but I've just never really been big on like cleansing devices like do you guys remember when the Clarisonic brush cleanser was it oh my gosh I did want to buy it but I was like damn how are you gonna like dry out the brushes because it's damp right it's like it's not gonna be very hygienic and I know I'm a lazy girl I'm not gonna be able to do a good job to take care of it and so I and also I just thought like using a brush to cleanse every day would be just too much for my skin so I, I just don't think I'm a very big cleansing device apparatus gal if you know what I mean I just feel like my fingers are the best they're gentle they work they're free you know once again folks at Foria you guys are doing a great job I love you guys no hot feelings it's just my, my skin you know it's just she got problems the last product that I rejected the lo siento are these needle derma rollers and I think for some time there was like an like a period of time where like a lot of youtubers were using it like skincare youtubers were using it and they also reached out to me and they're like hey we want to work with you and I just I I, I just couldn't guys it's kind of for the same reasons as why I rejected the Foreo cleanser I just didn't think my skin would be able to handle it and so just in case oh just in case you guys didn't know what these derma needle rollers are basically it's an apparatus that has a roller and on these rollers you have these little micro needles and this apparatus is supposed to help with hyperpigmentations fine lines wrinkles and also it's supposed to kind of make holes so that your skincare can seep in deeper and thus perform more of better it's basically just puncturing puncturing your skin so that your skincare seeps in and i'm just like i'm not i'm not a big fan of that i'll be honest i'm not a big fan of that because once again i have sensitive skin but I'll, also i'm really bad with pain i just think like just picturing using one of these derma rollers it just makes me cringe and also i just think it's not safe to use at home i think if you wanted like a procedure with micro needles I feel like it would be best. I would go to a dermatologist who, with the expertise, you know, who actually went to school to study, you know. Um, I feel like at home, when you do it by yourself without really knowing how to do it, you're bound to do more damage than good to your skin. 
And also, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know that I'm such a huge believer in just letting your skin kind of do its thing by its own and just focusing on getting good sleep, being healthy, uh, stress relief, and eating healthy, etc. I'm really big on like the holistic view. So I'd rather just get a couple of hours of more sleep than doing a derma roller, you know, doing this. So yeah. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoy, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also let me know what do you what you guys also think about these, you know, products. Do you guys like them? Do you guys not? Because like I said, I'm not saying that these products are bad on an absolute term. They just didn't work out for me, you know, lo siento, but take care of all, all that. Uh, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe and like and follow me on TikTok because your girl's trying to how to keep up with Gen Z. <laughs> It's so hot. All right, I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao.